Man, I gotta tell you, I love me some Pikachu. Pikachu's a pretty cool Pokemon, there's no question that. You know, he's even got his own game. I gotta tell you, for one single Pokemon to have a special edition of a game released just for them alone, that's pretty impressive. But man, I, I really wish Pikachu evolved twice, instead of just into, uh, into Raichu, you know? So, in today's video, we'll be discussing just that. The third scrapped evolution known as Gorochu. Gorochu, man, it it sounds like a it sounds like a Mortal Kombat enemy. Goro, Gorochu, very odd, but we're going to be detailing and discussing that. But first, Pikachu told me that uh, you guys like giveaways, so if you'd like to win this, all you got to do is leave a comment down below about what you think about Gorochu and like and share this video. I'll enter you in to win this uh, Pikachu here, and we'll go ahead and get that shipped out to you. Now, what uh, what exactly is Gorochu? What is Gorochu? Seriously, what is Gorochu? I I'm sure a lot of people are um, very curious. So, in a recent interview with the original designer of Pikachu, Gorochu is the scrap third evolution of Pikachu. So, well, second evolution. It's the third, third kind of Pikachu that they have going on in the game. Basically, what it was is that it was originally there were three designers working on Pikachu among several other Pokemon for the original 151. The desire was a split between a really tough looking type of monster and a really cute looking monster. So they wanted a nice variation among the Pokemon of the 151 so that they were both appealing in the cute side and the tough side. So makes sense. The cute monsters were difficult to design for the ones who were designing the tough monsters, and thus it prompted a female designer's opinion and perspective. Nishida was brought in and given the task to design an electric type monster with two evolutions, but she wasn't given any guidance for what it was going to be. It could have been any animal. So the original concept art of Pikachu was lost, unfortunately, so we don't really have an image of what it was supposed to really look like. But imagine something like a rice cake uh, with um, eyes and ears and uh, maybe a tail or something, I don't know. But it's very, very interesting. So very similar to how a soft and squishy type of ball would be, uh, but kind of with uh, ears and eyes and a face maybe. So there you go. I would imagine it would be something very similar to Coromon from Digimon. But again, that was just concept art, so it wasn't a final product. She named it originally Pika Pika, which means glittering or sparkling, and the two came later. She didn't really have a lot of input on the two, so that was just a later addition. As ever mentioned, she had no intent to make Pikachu a uh, mouse. It was actually a squirrel. And I know squirrel is similar to a mouse, but it's not the same. So the thing is, it was detailed that Pikachu was originally based off of a squirrel. I already did a story on this, I already talked about it, but later was made into a mouse. Now originally she had thought that it would be nice to have the electricity stored in cheeks, very similar to squirrels that put nuts in their mouths, very very cute. So again, you're seeing the cute side of the design on Pokemon. The squirrel's tails are, were cute too, and that's why she made a lightning shaped tail to symbolize the electric, but also a squirrel. So it makes a lot of sense, and hence why Pikachu has a tail. Very unlike a mouse though, the electric tail, if you take a look at it, it doesn't look like a mouse's tail. So compare that to something like a uh, Rattata or a Raticate, and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It's not at all like those type of tails. So definitely a unique design. They wanted Pikachu to be a rare Pokemon as well, making it extremely rare in Gen 1. Viridian Forest's chance to encounter is around 5%. That's pretty ridiculous. But a lot of people went out and got him anyways, just showing how popular Pikachu was. It wasn't until way late in the game though that there were better chances to find Pikachu, which a lot of people don't really realize because they always search it out in Viridian Forest, even though it takes a long time. But you could find it relatively easily in the power plant and or you could wait until the Cerulean Cave and get yourself a Raichu. I mean, you know, if you're trying to catch them all, eventually you're going to have to catch Pikachu, so a lot of people just have to get it in the Viridian Forest anyways. 
Pikachu was colored yellow because it was easy to understand that yellow means electricity and simplicity is best sometimes in design, so that's why he's yellow. And Raichu was selected as the evolution because Rai means thunder and Chu once more carrying over. Although Raichu's uh, details weren't depicted as deeply as Pikachu's, likely because Raichu's not as popular as Pikachu, so there you go, you don't get a lot of details on Raichu. Apparently, Goro, though, was an onomatopoeia for thunder as well. So, people are speculating that it was inspired by the Japanese god of thunder. And, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's not really surprising. They do have a lot of gods being portrayed in, in the Pokemon sense. And it would explain why Gorochu had horns and fangs as well. Which is kind of horrifying if you think about it. Uh, a Raichu with horns and fangs. But yeah, I I guess it was scrapped for a good reason. Gorochu was unfortunately taken out of the game though for the most ridiculous of reasons at times. Think about this for a second. It was taken out of the game because of balance issues in Generation 1. D balance issues. Game balance issues. Like, was this some OP god? I mean, it was based off of the lightning god or thunder god in Japan balance issues really so i think that's crap personally you ask me uh this is gen one we're talking okay there's only uh two ghost type attacks which uh rely on only on attack and not special and uh there's only one dragon move dragon rage and uh three dragon types uh, again three ghost types too so balance uh wasn't really there you know there was tons of glitches that would break the game straight up and make it really easy to play and the lot the logic that it was just a slightly powerful Electro-type would unbalance game. It's pretty crazy. Zapdos existed. I mean, you could get Zapdos before you even beat the last gems. So, what do you mean balance? I, I'm still not understanding. Electrode existed, which was uh, one of the fastest Electro-types in the game. Still is one of the fastest Electro-types. And you could teach it like Thunder or Thunderbolt. And you could sweep because it, it almost always is going to get the first hit. You know, so pretty crazy. Slightly, uh, slightly more powerful electric type would break the game. I, I just don't understand it. Balance in Gen One was an up and down kind of battle all over the place, and that's not even taking into account psychic types. Which, my God, if you had a Butterfree very early on with Confusion, you could just steamroll most of the enemies. I mean, the entirety of Team Rocket would essentially get steamrolled by a few psychic attacks. So. It's not as if balance was a serious thing in the game anyways. So, why wasn't Gorochu added back in after Gen 1 then? You know, after they got a lot of the balancing down and they fixed a lot of the issues. Um, they all voted Pikachu as their favorites. That was Pikachu being very popular, so it makes sense. You know, why wouldn't you add Gorochu later on? Well, um, unfortunately, uh, they didn't want Gorochu to be the center of tension. They didn't even want Raichu to be the center of tension, to be honest. And uh, it's my personal speculation that they would have removed Raichu as well if they could have, but unfortunately it was too late for that. Raichu was a core component of the anime show as well, appearing in Lieutenant Surge's iconic episode, which means, you know, you have a very big uh, installed base of Raichu, it wasn't some one-off appearance, and they don't really remove Pokemon, so it existed, unfortunately, for them. Because Pikachu took off like a rocket. When the show first launched, it showed the developers really needed to stay with Pikachu being Pikachu because they partnered it with Ash and everyone loved Pikachu. It's over with, man. It became insanely popular to be into Pokemon and the face of Pokemon was Pikachu. So Pikachu is currently supported by a number of items uh, like the Light Ball and the Evil Light which makes it extremely competitively viable in, in that kind of sense. Most unevolved base Pokemon don't have things like that that they can use tailored specifically to them, as aforementioned, the light ball, so it makes a compelling argument that they likely would have removed Raichu if they potentially could have to emphasize and put the importance on uh, Pikachu. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that would be Gwirochu. Uh, there's not much else to it. Again, it doesn't exactly shock me that there are Pokemon out there that used to have some type of evolution, a different evolution, maybe they had a third evolution, uh, maybe they toyed with the notion of having three evolutions instead of just two. Who knows, there's a lot of things out there that we just don't know about. And I really appreciate the interviewings coming out 
saying, you know, to the developers, these interviews, saying, you know, hey, all this information, you know, let, let me tell you all this cool information that you've never heard about. So, let me know your thoughts and opinions of Goro Chu down in the section below, and uh, as for me, I'm uh, going to be signing out, and I'm going to be sending this bad boy to one lucky person who commented on this video and said that they wanted this Ash Hat wearing Pikachu. I think it's only uh, fitting to give this away in today's video, so if you want it, once again, please leave a comment down in the section below and like and share the video. I've been your host, Bruno Mario, and I'm signing out, and I guess, uh, I guess I better get off to the post office and select a winner, eh? So I'll see you guys in the next video, and uh, tell me what you think about Gorochu before you leave.